This operation is addition. That means the denominators have to be the same before we can combine these rational expressions. So let's look for the least common denominator. To do so, completely factor your denominators. This is the difference of two squares, so that's x plus 1 times x minus 1, and then plus 3 over x plus 1. What would be the least common denominator in looking at these two denominators? It would actually be this denominator. So what do we do next? We rewrite each rational expression as an equivalent expression, but with this denominator. Now obviously this one's already done, so let's concentrate on this expression. What do I multiply this denominator by in order to make it look like this denominator? I would multiply the denominator by x minus 1. Now if I multiply the denominator by x minus 1, I must multiply the numerator by x minus 1. Now I have the right to combine these two rational expressions, and it's 6 numerator plus this numerator, 3 times x minus 1, all over a common denominator, x plus 1, x minus 1. Now, by the way, once again, do not be tempted by these two factors of x minus 1 because this is actually not a factor of the numerator. It is a factor in the denominator, but because of this plus sign, we cannot divide out this x minus 1 with this one. I will simplify in the numerator. So that's 6 plus, use the distributive property, that's 3x minus 3 all over that denominator, x plus 1 times x minus 1. And do I have any like terms? Well, yes, I have 6 minus 3, which is 3, plus 3x over that denominator. So I've got x plus 1 times x minus 1. Now, let's look at this numerator a moment. Notice there's a common factor of 3 that I can factor out. So I'll factor out the common factor of 3, and I'll have 1 plus x, and then keep rewriting that denominator, x plus 1 times x minus 1. I am simplifying. 1 plus x is exactly the same as x plus 1. Addition is commutative. Notice this is a factor of the numerator. This is a factor of the denominator. What do I have left? I have 3 in the numerator. In the denominator, I have x minus 1. So here is my sum in simplest form.